back to story time today with me, Macaw. How are you doing today? Uh-huh. Great. Today, we are going to be reading a very great book. The name is A Tractor Named Wilbur by Dini Humphreys Dune and illustrated by Holly Humphreys Baja. Oh, I can't wait to get reading this book. Are you ready to read this wonderful story? I love the picture of this tractor, don't you? Oh, let's go inside and read this book. Yay! A Tractor Named Wilbur. Oh, I love the cover of this book. It's so colorful. And look, the tractor has eyes and a mouth. A Tractor Named Wilbur by Deanie Humphreys Dune. Oh, this is such a great looking book. Jim McNabb opened the barn door and smiled when he looked at his little red tractor, Wilbur. Top of the morning to you, Wilbur. I'm proud you've lived here all your life, said Jim, tipping his hat to the little red tractor. I met you five years ago and loved you right away. Good morning. Thanks for tipping your hat to me, said Wilbur. He smiled from headlight to headlight. Oh, look at that picture. There he is. All smiles. Jim drove Wilbur into the barn. He took the soft cloth from his toolbox and polished the red tractor, then brushed the dirt off of Wilbur's tires. Your red paint looks as shiny as the first day I met you, Wilbur. Thanks for taking such good care of me, Jim. Wilbur rocked his tires. You're welcome, Wilbur. Remember the first time you mowed the grass, Wilbur? You stopped to ask Susie Squirrel why her cheeks were full of acorns when she could buy them at the grocery store instead. That's funny, huh? Yes, Susie liked local acorns. She wanted exercise, so she gathered them herself. You taught me to focus on my work, but now I do my work perfectly, said Wilbur, rocking his tires. Oh, there's Wilbur. Oh, and he looks like he's holding the farmer on his back. Wilbur said, I love mowing the grass, Jim, but I like more jobs. What else can I do? Would you like to pull a little cart and carry leaves and sticks? That would help me clean up the yard. The next morning, Jim opened the door to the barn. Top of the morning to you, Wilbur. Are you ready to pull the cart? said Wilbur, bouncing on his tires when they finished working in the yard. Jim washed the mud off of Wilbur's tires. Oh, I see Wilbur. What do you think he's pulling? Yes, I think it's a cart. Good guess. Now you're washed and ready for bed. Great job today, Wilbur. We did lots of work and the yard looks beautiful. Thanks, Jim. I love pulling the cart. How about a new adventure? Would you like to plow snow in the winter? Wilbur shivered. Hmm. Thinking of working outside in the winter, wouldn't I feel cold? That's a good question, don't you think? Your engine will be running and you'll be moving. 
That'll keep you warm and you won't be out in the cold for long. Let's work together to push the snow around, said Wilbur. He thought plowing snow would be fun. Oh, there he is. He has something in the front of him. Hmm. That's to help plow the snow off the roads. Go, Wilbur. One chilly morning, Jim opened the door to Wilbur's barn. Top of the morning to you, Wilbur. Jim stomped his feet to shake the snow off. Today, we'll plow the snow. Let me put chains on your tires to keep you from slipping. Well, that's a smart idea. Jim guided Wilbur along the driveway. Wilbur pushed the snow into a neat pile. Great job, Wilbur. Keep up the good work, Jim said. Wilbur flashed his headlights to show Jim he was happy. Oh, that's so cute. George, the little boy next door, came outside and waved to Wilbur. Hi, Wilbur, George hollered. You look handsome with your snowplow. I love your sturdy tires and chains. Wilbur smiled and Jim tipped his hat. Oh, look at Wilbur out in the cold snow. When they finished, Jim drove Wilbur into the barn and brushed all of the snow. Let's put your blanket on to warm you up. Thanks, Jim. It feels good to have my blanket on. I'm ready to sleep. Oh, I would be too, wouldn't you, if you did all that hard work? Yes. Oh, look at him sleeping with his blanket on. What color is his blanket? Green, yes. Oh, and it has his name on it. W-I-L-B-U-R, Wilbur. One day, Jim opened the door to the barn. He didn't smile. He didn't say top of the morning to you, Wilbur. <gasps> Jim, you look sad. What's wrong? I want to buy the lot across the street and have my own vegetable farm, said Jim. That's exciting. Why are you sad? asked Wilbur. You'd feel awfully tired after mowing a big field like the one across the street. You're getting older, Jim whispered. What if you got hurt? I'd be very sad. I need a new track. Wilbur's body shook. His eyes opened wide. Tears trickled down his headlights, splashing onto the floor. Oh, look at him, he looks so sad. This is a big change for Wilbur. Jim patted Wilbur, don't worry, Wilbur. I'm going to find you a wonderful new home and someone who loves you as much as I do. I don't want to leave. Wilbur stomped his tires. I'm at the pumpkin patch and I'm going to pick out a pumpkin. Let's see which one I want. This one or what has the bumps, and that one's green. Mm, I think I'll go with that guy. He's cute. Yay! The next morning, Jim came into the barn. Feeling better, Wilbur? Wilbur had tear stains on his headlights. Let's wash your headlights, said Jim. He washed Wilbur's lamps with warm, soapy water. It's chilly today, said Jim. Let's put your blanket on. Jim opened his toolbox. He took out the fluffy blanket and put it on Wilbur. I love my blanket with my name on it, Jim. Oh, I love that blanket too. You're my best friend, Jim, said Wilbur sadly. We'll always be friends and I'll visit you in your new home, said Jim. He looked at Wilbur with love and said, just imagine your new animal friends chatting with you and making you smile every day. You'll have wonderful adventures to tell me about. 
I never thought of making new friends, Jim. I love animals. A new home might be fun with animal friends. We could have all sorts of adventures together, said Wilma. Look, here's our pal Hattie the chicken. It looks like she's wearing a new bonnet. Ooh, a chicken, hello. Hi, Wilbur. Don't you adore my new bonnet? Asked Hattie, twirling so he could admire it from every side. I'm tired after shopping for the perfect yellow bonnet with blue polka dots. Can I take a nap on your seat? Wilbur looked at his seat. Sure, Hattie. Hattie hopped on and fell asleep right away. Oh, look at her sleeping on him. They're great friends, aren't they? What a great place to sleep. Wilbur looked at the sleeping Hattie and began thinking about the animal friends he might make at his new home. Will he meet a dog? Will he meet a cat? Maybe he will meet a chicken just like Hattie. Wilbur could hardly wait to find out. Oh, this was a great story. Oh, and it has some questions at the end. Wilbur wants to see how well you remember his story. Oh, let's answer these questions, can we? What kind of machine is Wilbur? Uh-huh, yes, a tractor, very good. Number two, what color is Wilbur? Mm -hmm. Yes, red, very good. What kind of work does Wilbur like to do when the grass is growing in the spring and summer? You answer that one, let me hear you. Yes, you're right, very good. What does Wilbur do when he's excited? Hmm. hmm, I think I remember something about his tires, do you? Oh yes, great job. How does Wilbur help Jim after it snows? What does he do? Do you remember that thing in front of him? Yes, he helps plow the snow, very good. What color? is Wilbur's blanket with his name on it. Remember we talked about this? Mm. Green, yes, very good, great job. Well, this was such a great book. Oh, and I love the story so much. I hope you did too. Okay, stay tuned for the book review. Bye. of a tractor named Wilbur by Deanie Humphreys Dune. Oh, I love this book. It was so colorful. The illustrations were great. It really brought the story to life. I also loved how this book taught me about what a farmer and a tractor do on a farm. What was your favorite part? Yes, I love that part too. Oh, the snow and watching him work so hard. And I loved how this story touches gently on change and how it can affect anyone if they're going through a big change. Oh, it's such a great story to read with your kids if they are going through a big change too. If you like this book just as much as we do, I'm sure you do, go to thinkaheadkids.com and check it out. And you can learn more about the author there too. Oh, we encourage you to go and check out A Tractor Named Wilbur. Such a great book. We enjoyed our story time with you and join us next week for story time two. Goodbye. Goodbye.